You all must have noticed in the news that the oil prices are going negative. This is happening in the United States and the simple and straightforward reason behind that is because there is no demand for oil. There was a severe drop in oil prices on Monday. Have a look at this graph. The oil prices went negative $37.63 per barrel on Monday. The United States uses the West Texas Intermediate WTI grade of crude oil. There are different grades of crude oil depending on different locations in the world. For example, oil fields in the North Sea produce a grade called Brent crude. Similarly, oil fields from Dubai, Oman or Abu Dhabi produces a grade called Dubai, Oman crude. So like this, there are different grades of crude oil. United States is the world's biggest producer of oil and they produce WTI grade of crude oil. The demand for their WTI crude oil has collapsed in recent weeks due to nationwide lockdown. We all know that due to worldwide lockdown, the demand for oil has gone massively down because the lockdown has kept people inside. Fuel is essential for practically everything in the economy. Fuel is required to ship goods, ride on airplanes or commute to work. Since the world is on lockdown, where are you going to go? That's how the demand has gone down. The world's biggest producer of oil, the United States is running out of storage facilities to store all the oil that the US companies have so far pumped out of the ground. The oil industry in the United States is facing two major problems. One, falling demand due to lockdown and two, convincing the oil producers to reduce their output because it is simply not easy to shut down the oil fields. As a result, oil traders in the United States this week were willing to pay from their own pockets to get rid of the excess oil rather than figure out how to keep storing it. That is what is the meaning behind minus $37.63 per barrel. Any negative amount is a sign of expenditure and not revenue. Always remember this point, oil is traded on its future price, meaning the contract for buying next month's oil is decided this month. For example, if you want to buy 1 million barrel of oil in May, then you need to place advance order in April and rates are preset. Similarly, the order for June is placed in May and prices are decided accordingly. The negative price of oil that we saw on Monday, 20th April is for May because Tuesday, 21st April was the expiry day for the May contracts. So what happened was the investors who were supposed to take their deliveries for May did not want to take delivery of oil because of lack of demand and storage facility. But then if you look at the price of June, it is at $20.43 per barrel, which is positive. Now the question is, why is it that in May the price is negative and in June it is positive? There could be two reasons behind this. One, the traders expect demand to recover by June as lockdowns are lifted across the world and economic activity resumes. And the second reason is the traders expect more of the storage space that will be created by the US government because every country's government has something called the National Reserve. That means the government will buy oil for the country's National Reserve. So these are the two possible reasons behind the positive price of oil for June. However, presently the oil wells are producing more than anyone expects the world to consume. And on top of it, there is a global shutdown. Normally, you can always find someone who wants your barrels of oil, even if you have to lower your price. But right now the situation is such that the storage tanks are getting full and there is no place to keep the excess oil. That is why the price of oil have gone in negative. In economics, if you study the law of demand, it states that when the price of good increases, its demand decreases. Similarly, when the price of a good decreases, its demand increases. So the negative oil price is basically a desperate step by the oil industry in the United States to increase oil purchase. But then right now, if you take your car to the petrol pump, you will still have to pay for the fuel. Do not think that it's going to be free and the petrol pump owner is going to fill up your car for free. Of course, the prices will be slightly lower than before. Petrol pumps are not running out of business. The government very much needs tax money from the fuel. So you will not get fuel for free. One barrel of oil is somewhere close to 160 liters. In the United States, it's 42 gallons. Whenever you see the price of one barrel, that amount is the government and oil company's cost price. It is not the amount that is given directly to the consumer. Then the oil companies sell it to dealers. So there is a whole bunch of agencies and middlemen who get paid in terms of salaries and commission. Plus the government also gets to earn tax money on every gallon or liter that is sold. So as long as there are middlemen, you will have to pay for the fuel even if the barrel rate is negative. I hope you understand. 
Whenever you see any commodity price in negative, especially when it is oil, that is going to be for a temporary period. Because we all know that oil is one of the most important raw materials for our economy. Plus the lockdown is not going to be forever. In the coming months, the prices of oil will shoot up. And it is common sense that when you anticipate a surge or a rise in demand, the value of the commodity increases. One of the things as a trader you can do right now is to rent oil tankers and storage facilities and then buy cheap oil now and store them for the future when demand and price increases. American traders are already doing it. Many such oil tankers are parked near the South African coast which is equal distance to the American and Asian markets. Even these oil tankers are running out of capacity, land storage in America is already overflowing. If you look into it further, you will realize that it is expensive to rent out an oil tanker. The rent is on per day basis, so if you are getting oil for cheap or free, but if you try to import, you will realize that the hiring charges of an oil tanker have doubled. So it automatically means no profit for the importing country. Now does India benefit from crashing WTI oil price? The answer is no. India imports primarily from OPEC countries and Brent crude, which is extracted from the North Sea. The prices of Brent crude oil has also fallen by about 5%, but the prices are still around $27 per barrel. Even the OPEC crude price is around $20 per barrel. Both of them are expensive compared to America's WTI crude, so there will be hardly any change in the rates of petrol and diesel in India. Let's say even if India wants to buy American WTI oil, practically for free considering the prices are negative, even then shipping oil from the United States to Asia is not economical. Plus, India does not have enough capacity to store the oil. All of India's three strategic petroleum reserves, which are located at Vishakapatnam, Mangalore and Padur, are full. In fact, India rents out these petroleum reserves to other countries. For example, at present, Abu Dhabi National Oil Company is stocking its crude in Indian reserve. India, meanwhile, has storage capacity nowhere near to other Asian countries such as China, Japan and South Korea. While India is the third largest consumer of oil in the world, Currently, it is the right time to buy the American WTI crude for almost free, but then the country has less storage capacity to stock cheap oil. The next question is, will the prices of petrol and diesel fall due to the decline in global crude oil prices? Again, the answer is no. Even if India had more strategic petroleum reserves and the oil prices in the international market is negative or low, Petrol prices in India won't fall simply because a large part of petrol, diesel, retail prices in India constitute taxes. The Indian government is already facing a massive revenue shortfall. Therefore, the central government needs as much of tax as possible. So low crude oil prices in the world don't mean much for Indian domestic fuel prices. And the last question is, how is India going to benefit from this price crash? Every oil producing country is facing a price crash due to global lockdown. So how will India benefit? The oil import bill for India will fall sharply this fiscal year, giving tremendous relief to the government on the current account deficit. A current account deficit indicates that a country is importing more than it is exporting. Due to global lockdown, India's export has badly hit. If a country exports more, that is how its foreign exchange earning increases. A country uses the same foreign exchange reserve to pay for its import bills because the receiving country wants to get paid in their own currency. With oil prices falling, India's oil import bill will reduce. That will reduce the outgoing of foreign exchange. India has a large current account deficit, meaning our import bills are more than export bills. So on one hand, due to lockdown, our export is badly hurt. That means our foreign earnings are under pressure. And on the other hand, oil is the highest imported good in India. Due to a fall in the prices of oil, our oil import bill will go down. That means our outflow of foreign currency will be less. This will balance out the current account deficit to some extent. Suppose we had more storage facilities to stock more oil, which I think India is building up more. That would have been so good because right now due to low oil prices, we could import and store them in our reserves. And as soon as the lockdown would end, the economy would recover and we will again resume our exports. This way, at least for some time, we don't have to buy oil that much and we can smoothly rely on our reserves. Simultaneously, we could focus more on exporting and thereby shrinking the current account deficit gap. Hope you found this video informative. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching it.